I hope people would look at a tree and think, it's been alive and cared for this long. What will it look like in five years, 20 years, and 50 years? And I hope that if people support it, they can help future generations see the same tree and have that support be echoed for future viewers. Bonsai represent time. I mean, it's a material thing, it's three-dimensional, it's alive and it's growing. At the same time, when you're at the museum, to me, time stops because you're just in the moment with that tree experiencing it. Unlike artifacts that you see in regular museums, the trees are living and they still require daily care and attention by knowledgeable people. I mean, they're living, they're changing, they're growing, they're evolving, and in them, you also have the vision of the artist. But that's why the Pacific Bonsai Museum is such a special place to me. As a Japanese American, I'm very grateful for this landmark exhibition that the Pacific Bonsai Museum has created, World War Bonsai Remembrance and Resilience, because that Japanese American story about bonsai has faded. Memories have faded, and then pretty soon those faded memories become an absence. The story of Japanese American contributions to bringing bonsai to the United States and helping plant that tradition and those practices here are in the trees, and yet the trees are beautiful. We can look at them, but they're also silent. And so the fact that the museum went to the trouble to uplift those stories and those biographies is a real act, not only of education, but of healing. And it brings to life a history that's been forgotten, maybe even canceled or erased. Those years were so traumatic. And so those trees are living, but they're also bear scars. And I think by the Pacific Bonsai Museum bringing these stories to light, it really does help to heal and to inform to dig in to the history and do that extra work and excavate those stories is so important. And it's not something I don't know that you get anywhere else. And the fact that you're a public institution and reach children, um, groups of people, educators, um, hobbyists, people who are interested in plants but don't know about bonsai means that the stories about people in my community who've done bonsai and elsewhere in the world um, is incredibly powerful. So I'm so grateful to the museum that it exists and that you do that work.